Hey folks, today we're gonna to talk about the top five mistakes that people do during fitness training. So generally, if you see, uh, there might be a lot of dancers, athletes, sports persons, especially these guys, and if you are a gymaholic, or maybe you're practicing yoga or Pilates. It doesn't matter, but these are the most common mistakes that we all do during our practice sessions. So welcome to the top five mistakes of fitness training. So the first common mistake that we all do during fitness training is breathing through the mouth. Whatever you do, whether you're a sports person, you're an athlete, you are practicing yoga, whatever you do. What we do is half the way or in between, we generally get tired. So the moment you get tired, the first mistake that we tend to do is start breathing through the mouth. You start either exhaling or breathing through the mouth just like this. So the moment you are tired, what you do is you breathe through the mouth. Am I right? So if you are someone who does this mistake, please never do this during your training sessions. The moment you start breathing through the mouth, what happens is you lose half of your energy. Half of your body's energy is completely exhausted and you get more and more tired during training. So you will never do this mistake, especially when you're tired, you will never breathe through your mouth. So uh, let's say you're playing a sport like football or basketball or which includes a lot of running. So while or even running on the treadmill or maybe jogging around. So what we tend to do is when we are tired, we start breathing through the mouth unknowingly or not. So make sure you become more and more aware of your breathing technique. You will never breathe through your mouth. The moment you start breathing through your mouth, half of your energy is definitely lost. So let's say the simple technique that you can follow if you are tired is stop for a while, take a break, take a deep breath. Just one to five deep breaths is more than enough to keep you rejuvenated, refreshed and keep going on more and more. The moment you feel tired, this is what you need to do. Take a deep breath and you will be rejuvenated and refreshed to work out more intensively. So you get more and more energy when you breathe through the nostrils and not through your mouth. So make sure you will never do this mistake again. Never breathe through your mouth. The second most common mistake that people do during training sessions is body alignment. We forget to keep our body aligned properly with whatever workout we do. Let's say the common workout that we do is a push-up, sit-ups or a pull-up or maybe lifting weights and dumbbells. Okay, these are the mistakes that a lot of people do during gymming and a lot of people during yoga practice as well do not keep their legs aligned in a lot of asanas. So make sure your body alignment is very 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 important. So let me give you an example, okay? Right now there's a pole right here in front of me or I'm holding a stick, okay? If I get the stick to stand straight on a 90 degrees, the stick can stand straight for longer enough till uh, the wind blows or I push it down. So the stick will never fall if it stands on 90 degrees. But let's say what if the stick is standing at 89 degrees, just one degree lesser than 90 being straight. Okay, even at 89 degrees, slowly what happens is the pressure is building towards one side of the stick. So when the pressure starts building towards one side of the stick, gradually the stick falls down. So that's how it is. So if your body is not aligned properly, in the proper manner that it needs to be aligned for different workouts, then you start giving a lot of pressure to your muscles, to your joints and a lot of other places. So what happens is you start getting injured. You will be prone to a lot of injuries then. So you will start getting knee pain, you will start getting lower back pain, sometimes shoulder pains and the most common pain that you get especially if your body is not aligned during push-ups is the clavicle bone pain. So the clavicle bone starts slowly popping out and out and out if you keep doing it wrong in the wrong manner without proper alignment. So if you see a lot of people might have their chest in different shapes, both the chest may not be in equal shape. So that is because you're giving either too much pressure on one hand or your body is not aligned properly during push-ups. 
So please make sure for the alignment is very important. The third most common mistake that people do during training sessions is not getting enough warm up. You need to be properly warmed up before you do any kind of intensive training. Okay, let's say even if you're doing aerobics, Zumba, or you're just attending a fun session, you need to be really aware that your body is warmed up enough so that you can do something intense. Even dancing can get intense at times. So you need to be properly warmed up. Especially if you're a sports person, athlete, dancers, even a gymaholic, you need to be really, really, really warmed up. If your body is not warmed up, you will be prone to a lot of injuries. So warming up doesn't mean, okay, I do 10 push-ups, 10 sit-ups, and some kind of pull-ups or whatever, a little bit of running. So that doesn't mean if your body starts sweating, you're fully warmed up. No, your body needs a full body stretch. You need to open up your body. Your muscles have to open up. Your smaller muscles, there are major muscles and minor muscles. The minor muscles need to be opened up and warmed up before you do anything intense. Unless you do not open up your body, unless you do not warm up your body properly, you will be prone to a lot of injuries. The most common injuries, especially for sports person and dancers, ha that happens is your ankle twist. If your ankle is not stretched properly and if you're not warmed up your ankle properly, you will be prone to a lot of ankle injuries. A lot of people get sciatica or lower back problems is because you're not warmed up enough. Okay, you before doing any kind of intensive training, make sure please be warmed up. The fourth common mistake that people do during training sessions is not getting adequate rest. Adequate rest here doesn't mean getting more and more sleep. It's not about sleeping. A good amount of sleep is maybe six to seven hours, depending upon your body type and depending upon how active your body is or how much you actually cool down your body. Okay, so here adequate rest means you need to do a cool down session post workout. A lot of people due to a time imbalance or not having enough time or being lazy, we do not cool down. Okay, you have to definitely cool down. There are a lot of cool down stretches. There's a lot of cool down practices that you need to follow post your workout session. If you do not give adequate rest to your body, if you do not cool down your body after workout, you may not even be able to have a good sleep. Your body will go to rest and sleep only when your body is cooled down. If you do not do this, once again, your body might start having a lot of muscle cramps, muscle pulls. Uh, these are the common things that happen during our workouts, right? These things happen because your body is not rested adequately, okay? If you're not resting enough, definitely you'll start having muscle cramps and muscle pulls. So please make sure you cool down your body and get adequate rest and be fresh for the next day's workout. And the fifth most common mistake that generally we do is being excited. Never get too excited about a workout or any kind of workout that you want to do. Let's say you want to try a handstand, you want to try a headstand and a cartwheel or something that is beyond your limits. So what we do is, okay, we got to do this handstand today. Oh, you're super excited. No, you cannot be excited. First thing, you need to be aware that whether your body is ready to do it. That means, are you warmed up enough? So the excitement can lead to a lot of injuries, fractures especially. So especially if you're trying a headstand or a or handstand, something like that, or a cartwheel, what might happen is if your body is not warmed up, if your body is not ready, if mentally you're not prepared, if you're not calm enough, you will not be aware what's going on or what's happening when you're doing it. And you might tend to fall in a wrong way and get injured or break your bones. So please make sure you will never be excited during a workout session. So even if it's a new dance move you want to try or it's being taught in the class, please be sure that you are aware enough to try it. If you're not more and more aware and calm, you will never do this. Okay, that's called something like anxiety. So being in anxiety is very, very risky. Okay, you cannot risk your body. You cannot risk your self into an injury. So these are the five most common mistakes that people do during a fitness training. 
So please make sure you will never do it them again. And if you like this video, please do share it to your friends and follow us. Click the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. I'll meet you in the next video on top five mistakes of dieting. So let us talk about the most common mistakes of dieting that people do in our next video. So until then, see you. Ta-da, take care and please do subscribe.